Hi, in this video I am going to uh, talk about the number one ingredient in order to have the best possible selfies uh, of you, with makeup, without makeup, any way you are dressed. Um, so lighting is the most important part of any photograph and what I want to show you is how you can use light in uh, your favor in order to look your best. Light can make you look younger, it can make you look older, it can make you look thinner, or it can make you look, you know, uh, heavier. So you have to learn to use it in order to be successful to take your own selfies. Number one, the best, the most, the, the best thing that you can do is get yourself your phone mounted on a tripod. Uh, it's in the list of um, equipment that I told you you will need that I totally recommend that will give you the best results. It takes, you know, it's just a few dollars and you can get it in Amazon. So um, the, the, um, the best way to describe, you know, light is like the best natural filter there is, okay? The more light that you can get into your face, the more light, the, the more you can um, fill in, you know, irregularities, you know, in our faces. The whole point is to try to take selfies in which you don't need to use any type of filters because men hate to see pictures of women with filters. They want to see us the way we are. That's why also makeup is very important. However, I want you to learn to use the light because I want you to also have beautiful selfies of you without no makeup. So for that, it's key to know how to use your light. So right now the phone is mounted, you know, in the tripod and it's going to be shaking a little bit, but I want to show you around the effect of the light. So right now I am facing a huge window and this, this is my studio. And obviously I don't expect you to have, you know, a situation like this, but you just need to find for a window. That's all you need to find. In the, the bigger it is and in the brightest the day it is, the best. Um, so right now I'm facing the window completely. And if I get closer to the window, you know, you can see it gets, it gets brighter. And of course I have makeup right now, but still, I just want you to see that there's no shadows. Everything, like I have eyes, you know, bags under my eyes and you cannot see any of those. It also makes my, my skin look smoother. It fills in, uh, you know, the pore, uh, pores in our skin. Um, and you know, if we wrinkle a little bit and smile, it's not as noticeable. So you want to take your selfies with very smooth light. You do not want to be in direct sunlight. You don't want to be, it's so bright that you're squinting like that. You're gonna be able, you want to look for light that you can totally open your eyes really, really nice, um, that you're not squinting. That way, because you want, especially you have like beautiful color eyes, they're just going to pop. And that's really gonna get people's attention. Now I'm gonna show you what light does to our features right here. So, oh, it's, you see the sun is coming out, so it's getting even, even brighter right here. So, um, if I start rotating right here, you can see now how I have a shadow right here. So, if you want to, um, you know, contour your face a little bit right here, you can use that, but I really want you right now to concentrate in having, you know, um, straight light because we're going to slim down your face in different ways. So if you start rotating, you can see that now I start to develop all these shadows in my face. Now you cannot see my eyes, the color of my eyes, and one tends to look bigger than the other, and I may even look like cross-eyed. And if you keep going and going and going, you know, you see it's just... Um, it's tempting to take pictures like this because we became more blurry and so we look younger. We don't see our um, uh, defects in our face, like in a bedroom or in a bar or places that have certain lights. And we're so tempted, we take all those selfies and say, oh my God, I look so great. But that's because it's dark, but you cannot really see who you are and men don't like those pictures because they're gonna see us you know, in broad daylight. So you can see right here, the light is coming from from this side, and there is, you know, if I smile, you know, if I do this, I can start to see all these shadows right here, okay? Especially, you know, as we get older, we get wrinkles right here, and all these ones, they're gonna come out. 
they're really, you know, the texture of our neck is just going to show. And what we're trying to do here is just look the best way the, that we are, you know, and very nice and smooth. So you want frontal light. Now I just move here to the kitchen. You can see that the window is right behind me. And yeah, that, you know, all that glare, it kind of acts like a filter, but you can see that, you know, here in the back, I can't see it right there. But right there, there's, there's the kitchen lights right there. I'm facing the, the window right now, so it's nice and smooth. But we tend to take pictures like this and sometimes we just like our expression and, uh, oh my God, it looks so cute. But these colors, the red colors of the lights, it doesn't represent, you know, the best of you. So um, try to avoid, you know, artificial light and stick to a window light. Now, here's another thing that we tend to, to, to use, which is the bathroom light. First of all, now I look like magenta because this is a totally different color of light. Uh, and again, you cannot see completely the color of, of the eyes. And yeah, it could be a little bit, you know, smooth and, you know, we all take the selfies with the phone, but everybody does that. You do not want to be the girl that is just doing, you know, selfies in the phone, you know, holding it, you know, let me close this right here, just holding it like that. You can see the phone and you can see the self in the mirror. You don't want to be that girl. You want to be the original girl that is getting good, 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 good pictures. So let me show you other options. Okay. Now I am in my bedroom and uh, there is a light a window uh, totally filling my bedroom with light. So when you do your selfies, do it when your room is the brightest and the sun is not coming directly into the room. And if it is coming into the room, just stay away from, from that sunny part um, as much as you can. Now, the nice thing about taking pictures in a, in a bedroom, I can show you right here, is that I have my natural light over here that really helps, you know, smooth out my face. But then the camera really also puts some, um, you know, you can capture the, the light of the lamps. So turn the lamps on, you know, in your bedroom uh, to take your, your pictures. But, for example, right now I'm gonna be taking them right there. Okay, I'm gonna take them right here because it's full light and it's really going to, this is gonna be, especially for your uh, headshot, that's what you want, you know, it doesn't matter you know, the rest of the body, uh, we're going to uh, talk about uh, posting and all that. So you can actually sh see also the location where you are, because there's going to be things that you also want to show in, in the background. So um, again, face the light. Okay. And uh, you can put some um, ambience lights in the back, like lamps, perfect, or candles. Candles are really good, but do not shoot at night. Do not do your photo shoot with the lights, you know, uh, lamps and artificial light. Do it during the day in the brightest uh, hour. Plan uh, your outfits with time. You can see all the outfits right, ne right there in the bedroom as I'm going to prepare to, to shoot with, with the outfits. So um, and the, the other thing is that, you know, with natural light, you can see how, how you look better and you're like, wow, I look really nice. So you can really start, you know, working working those selfies. So frontal light, just stay with frontal light in order to do your selfies, your headshots from the chest up, you want frontal light.